this is what it feels like for you to try to get all of your homework done, then here are a few tips for you. Hey guys, this is Raven from Pressing the Panic Button. And today I've got for you some tips on how to manage your schoolwork. Which, whether you have anxiety or not, if you have piling up schoolwork, that is really freaking stressful. So I've got you a few tips on how to make everything more, you know, easy to work with. So step number one is cleaning up your desk space. A desk space like this is not very good for getting things done. It's going to make you very overwhelmed and there's just so much going on. So the best thing you can do is go ahead and just straighten it all up. As you can see, now the desk is completely cleared of everything. Textbooks go back on the bookshelf where they belong. Here's all of our school notebooks and binders, whatever we need. Any loose paper that hasn't gone into a folder yet, which partially if you see that red folder, that's where my papers normally go. Here's your nice clear space. Usually my laptop would live here, but since I'm doing homework, I moved my laptop away. And of course my agenda will be right here where I see it. So I'll always know what I need to do. And then all of my writing utensils live in little cups according to what they are. I mean, this is just wires. We have markers, we have pens and pencils, we have highlighters and Sharpies, and we have marker board markers. So everything now has its own place and you can get started with a much clearer mind. Now the second thing to consider whenever you are doing your schoolwork and there's so much and you feel like you have to get done, now that you have a clear workspace, you need to look at your agenda. I suggest writing down assignments when you are in class or if you know there's a test coming up, write down what to study for a few days ahead of time. So let's see what we have to do. So my, so my personal agenda says that for animal physiology, I need to study for my exam and do my lab write-up. For cell and molec, I need to do my D2L assignment, read from the textbook, and do my lab write-up. Sociology, I need to rewrite my notes, and animal behavior, I need to rewrite my notes. So at this time, you need to make sure that you have everything that you need right there in front of you to go ahead and get started. As you can see here, I have three of the three out of the four things already stacked up and ready to go. I have my cell and molec book to read. I have my cell and molec assignments to do. I have my animal behavior textbook so I can rewrite notes. And this is my notebook where I rewrite all my notes. This will also be used to study for my ape, for my animal physiology test. And then my sociology notes. I didn't bring the textbook down yet because I need the laptop for the Outlined, so I don't have that just yet. So the next thing to do is organize by what has already been finished and what needs to be done. So I've already read my Selimalek book, so that can go away. Here's what I need to rewrite notes for, here's what I need to study, and then my Selimalek. So the next thing to do is to organize all of this by what is most important. This is part of why I do color coding a little bit on my agenda, as you can see. Anything that's in red means that it's the day of a test or the day that something is due. So, and I mean for lab write-ups, I don't always do that because I already know what days are going to be done. So as you can see, my animal physiology test is tomorrow, so that's going to be a number one thing to do. Another number one thing to do is my lab assignment 
for Selamalek because that is also due tomorrow. So things that you need to do right now, prioritize that. Anything else, prioritize. So the Selamalek D2L assignment is going to be due in two days. So that will be the next thing to prioritize. And I have set, and I have animal behavior class tomorrow. So rewriting notes I usually will put for last because I need to do the most important things first. So once you have everything organized, go ahead and just put away the things you don't need right now so you can just focus on what you're needing to get done. So I hope these tips help you with managing your school stress and getting you ready for school and all that fun jazz. So if you would, please like and subscribe to Psych2Go for any more cool and awesome psychological facts and stuff like that. And if you'd like to see more about living life with a mental illness, then follow my channel where I vlog about living with anxiety. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you later.